The default settings in Samsung Galaxy S8 will give you a day's worth of battery life. Here are some tips and tricks that can use to improve your battery life and get more done with your Samsung Galaxy S8. Always on display is a really quick way to check your notifications and any other information you have in your lock screen. So having always on display on all the time may actually reduce your battery life. So how do you optimize your always on display to get the best battery life? Open up the settings, go to the lock screen and security and tap on the always on display. Here you'll find all the options to set always on display. So some of the things I would recommend you to do so is if you do want to use always on display and care about the battery life, choose a simple theme like this digital clock or analog clock rather than these images that have on their theme. Now you could also say that you want to set a schedule rather than show the display all the time. So for example, what do you need always on display when you're sleeping, right? So you could set to schedule it so that it only turns on from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Maybe that's when you're at work and you want to get the most out of always on display. Device maintenance is another neat way to track how your estate is doing and save battery and also improve performance for your estate. In the settings menu, if you tap on the device maintenance, you will see several options to optimize your device, starting with the battery to choosing a performance mode and storage and memory. If you go inside the battery, you get several options. You can choose a power saving mode, which is very important. If you're traveling or if you're you know, outside all the time, I would recommend you to switch to either of the power mode, the mid or the max, so that you have good battery when you are outside in the wild or you know, in the party or any other event. So that will save you a lot of battery life. And not only that, if you choose the mode, you also have the option to see what are all the things that Samsung is going to reduce or optimize for your battery. And you could also customize and choose certain options so that you would like to have, say, the always on display turned on instead of it having it off. So you could choose to do that. But again, remember that changing these default settings may not really give you the outcome that you're looking for. But you've got the options. And down below you see you have all of those apps that are running in the background. You can choose to select them and click the save power button. It's going to put those apps to sleep and also show you how much battery life you are getting more by putting those apps to sleep. And of course, you can tap on the battery usage and see your data since your phone was last fully charged. So really nice ways to look at how your battery is performing in your S8. Another hidden option in the battery settings is if you click the three dot 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 menu on the top right and you get the advanced settings. Here you have the app power monitor, which is really useful if you really care about your battery. This is going to keep monitoring your apps and give you tips on whether you want certain apps to be closed. Like for example, you can see here right now I have the app power monitor showing that I have two apps and running in the background have been put to sleep to save power. So things like this are really important if you are monitoring your battery and the app power monitor doesn't disappoint you in telling you the right things and giving you tips to how to improve your battery life. I love Samsung themes. They help you customize your phone and there are some really good themes that you can use. However, note that some of those themes may also reduce your battery life. They not only have some graphics and you know settings enabled for the theme, maybe the high performance mode, but also they set the always on display to some images that may also reduce your battery life. So choosing a theme, especially dark theme, will help you to improve the battery life very efficiently. So if you go to your theme store, and there you can get a lot of themes if you search for black and basically black is really good with AMOLED displays because they don't really turn on the pixels that are for white and other colors and keep it very minimal with the black pixels on so that is also going to help you save a lot of battery. Samsung Galaxy S8 also supports Wi-Fi calling well that means that you can use your Wi-Fi to make your network calls However, that same Wi-Fi calling feature can eat your battery as well. To ensure that you are indeed saving battery with Wi-Fi calling, one of the tips is that if you go to your settings, connections, more connection settings, and to the Wi-Fi calling, if you have a poor Wi-Fi, 
it will be telling you here instead of ready for calls it would say you are in a with a poor wi-fi network and when you see that i would recommend to turn off the wi-fi calling generally speaking i do see that the battery drains a lot with wi-fi calling on so unless i really need the wi-fi calling i basically turn it off to ensure that i get the best battery life in my s8 while we are still in the connection settings menu, if you tap on the mode connection settings, on the top we have this nearby device scanning. This is basically pretty useless right now because this only works with either Samsung devices or some other Bluetooth low energy devices that are readily available to connect. And frankly speaking, we are not around those devices all the time. So I usually turn it off to save battery power. The two simple things that you can do to save your battery life is setting the brightness level and a display timeout. To set the brightness level, if you bring up the shortcuts menu from swiping top to bottom and hit this down arrow button, you will see that you can actually set the brightness level along with enabling the auto brightness as well. I would always keep the auto brightness on so that I will let Samsung manage the brightness level in my phone or set a brightness level that is maybe 50 or 40 percent and will help you use your phone more effectively. The second option is display timeout or the screen timeout in this case. So if you go to your settings, tap on the display and at the bottom you will have the screen timeout option. Now for this video purpose I have set it to 5 minutes but as soon as I have recorded this video I will you know switch to the 15 seconds mode because having your display on all the time may also consume more battery so that's something to keep in mind as well. If you bring the shortcuts menu from swiping top to bottom you will see you have your bluetooth, you have the location, NFC always on display and edge lighting. All of these individual options do have an effect in your battery life. So if you don't want some of these features, like you know, if you don't want location, turn it off. If you want them, turn it back on. If you don't want always on display, you know, you can always turn it on and off. And edge lighting, that is something that I had for a few days and realized that that was killing my battery. So I turned it off immediately when I knew that that is going to not help me use my SA more effectively. Even though the feature is nice, but you know, not in the expense of battery life. Those were some of the best tips and tricks you can apply to improve your battery life in Samsung Galaxy S8. If you have any other tips that I missed, please do let me know in the comment. If you like my video and want to see more tips and tricks like this, make sure you are also subscribed to my channel. Until next time, bye.